guys. What's up, guys? Laidback Gaming here. Uh, here with the second uh, part of the second episode of the Halo Reach 4 tutorials. Uh, the first uh, part, the first episode, or whatever. Um, the first episode, I showed you how to make a heal, which is there's one right here, and I also showed you how to make a quick little jump. Uh, this next part, I'm just going to show you basically how to make just a quick little um, bank turn. Nothing special, not like a banked wave or anything, but just a bank turn. For those of you who don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this hill right here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and finish that off. When you're finishing off a hill, if I didn't mention, you don't want to... It's easier to finish off a hill than to, I guess, make the rest of it, I feel like. Uh, you don't want to You don't want to make it go up too much because otherwise it gets really bumpy. Um, so you just kind of want to gradually raise it up. And for a regular bank turn, once we uh, start making it, um, you don't want to turn while you're going up. Uh, you want to just go up and then turn. Um, if you want to make just a regular banked uh, what, uh, turn, that is. If you want to make something else like a spiral or a uh, wave, then it's different. And I will have different tutorials out for that as well. Um, hopefully I don't force too slow today because I do. Uh, I, I don't know um, how much I'm going to like commentating for, you know, 15 minutes. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully I won't take to go too slow, which right now it's not looking too good for me. Um, I'm going pretty slow right now. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it's probably because I'm really tired. Uh, earlier, before I made this, I ran six miles, which is awful. Uh, for cross-country, I had to run six miles, and it was, like, the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but I guess, you know, I'm staying in shape, which is a good thing, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't really care about staying in shape. I'm only doing it for soccer. Um, so we're getting close to finally finishing this hill. I hate, I should have done this before, but I wanted to, uh, I, sh I would have done this um, in between episodes, uh, you know, where you weren't even watching, but I really wanted to make an entire track, do the entire tutorial series where you see everything I make, and you get to watch everything I make, so, the, and then you can see the final, um, the final, you know, thing of that, and see what it looks like when I'm actually done, and then you can, see, you could gradually see how I made this, how I made a track. Uh, I feel like that'd be really cool to do something like that. Just slowly make a track, and you just kind of see how it uh, becomes into a track. It starts from nothing and becomes to a track, and you watch all these tutorials telling you how I do it and how I make it. I feel like that'll really help it all out a lot. So I hope it does. Um, I got I got pretty good feedback on the last video. Uh, a lot of people said that it helped him, even though it was just a hill. You know, a lot of people still said that it helped him out. The people that you know what weren't you know really sure about how to make it. They said it helped them out a lot, so hopefully the people that don't know how to make bank, uh, bank turns, hopefully this will help you out a lot. Uh, so we're getting ready to start the uh, bank turn itself. We're uh, finally evening this out. Uh, it didn't take too long to put those blocks up there. Um, so we're almost done with this. Uh, I need to race this. I'm not sure how smooth this is or not, but... I usually honestly don't even test my track. I, I'll I won't test my tracks out until I'm like halfway done. It's pretty crazy. I'll you know I'll make half the track and then I'll be like, oh, I, I should probably test this, and then I'll test it. You know, I don't know why. That's just me. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I'll just you know, I guess you know, get into uh, forging the track so much that uh, I just forget to completely test it out, and I'll just you know make the track uh, itself without even testing it. Um, and the phone's ringing now, and I'm not going to answer that, so uh, whoever's calling, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's going to ring four times, so uh, yeah, it's going to be very annoying. Here it goes again. Yeah, there it goes again, and it's fixing to come again for the last time, hopefully. Okay, now that we're done with the phone thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I hate that. Uh, sadly, uh, hopefully nobody they don't call again, um, because I really do not want to answer the phone. And I might have to, which would screw up this entire commentary, and I would have to remake it, which would really suck. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Otherwise, I guess you won't be listening to this commentary. Um, so let's go ahead and race this. I just, I'm just curious how smooth this is. Um, I want to know. Uh, so we'll get in the mongoose. Um, so far, so good. Pretty smooth. Coming down is pretty smooth as well. Uh, so that's pretty good all in all. And you can see it's a pretty good size hill. It goes down more than it uh, goes up, which is okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and start coming up with this turn, and then we will um, we will start making the banked turn. 
Uh, you don't want to go up too steep when you're making a bank turn. Of course, you don't. You're not going to want to go up too steep. Otherwise, it's going to be you know hard to drive, and you're going to be sliding off and stuff. Uh, especially with just a bank turn and not like a bank spiral. A bank spiral is different. You can make that more, um, I guess, drifty. Uh, but for a banked, uh, a banked, just a regular bank turn, you don't want to make it too steep. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. How many people? How many times am I going to get calls? Um, my God, will you stop calling me? Um, <laughs> sorry about the phone calls. I know it's pretty annoying, and it's probably my mom, and she's probably just freaking out because I'm not answering the phone. She probably thinks I'm like dying at my house right now, uh, but she can get over it. <laughs> um, yeah, I just really want to go ahead and get this done with because I'm already in the middle of it, and I don't want to stop. Um, okay, that's pretty straight, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so we're going to continue to go up. And uh, I, I usually don't wait till I get too steep to turn. I'll probably turn after this this block right here. Uh, we'll put this down. And just remember, guys, when you're pushing, putting these blocks down to check both sides, because you do sometimes will get carried away and you will get them uneven. So you want to check both sides and remember to you know push your push your uh, left bumper down so that you um, so that you you know you can uh, push it in push it in. Uh, very slowly and stuff instead of you know having it go up and down like this that's just ridiculous uh, so push your left bumper in so it goes down a lot easier and make sure you line it up pretty smooth you can you know zoom in and make sure that it's really smooth because uh, you know the smoother the better uh, so that's pretty steep we'll go one more uh, just because I don't know I feel like I need to go a little higher again guys for the people that have not watched this I don't use snap rotation Snap. Why do I say snap rotation? I don't use rotation snap. I said it wrong in the last video too. Somebody pointed that out to me. Uh, yeah, I don't use rotation snap or edit coordinates or any of that stuff. I just freehand it. I've always freehanded ever since Halo 3. Um, I don't know why, but I just I don't know. I just can't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't like using rotation snap. Not because it's easy, but just because I guess I'm so used to using freehand, and I feel like freehand, in my opinion, uh, is better for a track. Because you know with rotation snap and stuff, you can't get the, you, oh, whoops, you can't get the same angles with rotation snap that you can get, you know, with just freehanding it. Because freehanding, you know, you can make any angle possible, uh, any angle you can think of, you can make in freehanding. Um, so we'll go ahead and start turning now. Uh, like I said, for the hills, if you watch the hills tutorial, what I do for bank turns and just everything in general when I go up on stuff. And I'm about to, you know, even make a turn or anything. Well, for for bank spirals, it's different. You know, you're gonna go up and stuff. But for bank, just a regular bank turn, you're gonna want to keep the angle even. So you're not gonna want to go up any. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with like, you know, an uneven. It's gonna be uneven when it, when you finish the turn. And yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird. Um, at a weird angle. Uh, so you want to stay at the same uh, angle, and that's pretty close. You can't really get closer than that. That's pretty close to the same angle I need to the angle I need to stay at and you can go ahead and start turning that a little bit we'll go right there you gotta make sure you even out both sides especially especially when turning uh, because when you're turning you're gonna uh, both sides are gonna get a little bit different uh, so you got you really gotta take your time with the things uh, you know a lot of people think they can just rush through it and I'm not saying you can't because uh, there are some people that are just really super fast at forging and uh, you know they can they can rush through this stuff like crazy. I'm not the fastest forger. Uh, I guess I can forge decently fast, but I'm really not that fast, uh, you could say. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not that fast, but uh, pretty fast, I guess. Uh, just make sure you can, when you're coming up, you can use the outside to make sure your angle's the same. But you know, turning it and making sure the outside's about the same. So that's about the same angle right there. And you don't want to turn it too much, uh, not because, I mean, it can, for me, really, it's just, it makes your turn look sloppy. Uh, that's, I don't know, that's just always how I've, how, why I haven't done that. But it can also, I mean, it looks, it looks kind of sloppy when you turn a track way too fast. And that's just, you know, me, I like, to, I like my tracks to be, I like my tracks to look pretty, I don't know, uh, the turns to look uh, pretty nice. So I don't, you know, I don't want to sit there and just... Um, yeah, I don't want to sit there and, you know, make it turn, the turn so tight, unless I really have to. If I need to make a turn tight, I'll make it tight. I'll, I'll probably, usually if, I'm, if I need to make a tight turn, I'll use a spiral. So if there's a tight turn you need to make and you can curve it in, 
then I would uh, suggest using a spiral turn. Those usually work uh, for those. Um, so, I mean, for bank turns, they're pretty simple. I don't like making bank turns anymore, though. Uh, a lot of people don't. Well, some people make them. A lot of people make bank turns with uh, rotation snap because it's just, you know, it's just you put it at one angle and you can sit there and go up and just make it perfect. I don't make it with rotation snap, even when I do make them. But, like I said, I usually don't make just regular bank turns. Uh, just because, um, you know, banked waves and spirals are so much more interesting. And I just like to, you know, for my turns, I, I just always make all kinds of crazy angles with my turns. And I never really, I never try to keep my turns straight like this. Uh, I feel like, you know, just your normal average turn is kind of gone, you know, gotten a little bit boring. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad to make because clearly I'm going to make it now. Uh, I mean, I make them every once in a while. I've got a couple in some of my maps. I don't know though. I just, I just enjoy. It. I think it's more enjoyable to make other, other type of types of turns, such as you know, waves and um, and uh, spirals. And there's just a combination of stuff that I enjoy making in my maps, other than just uh, your average uh, bank turn. Uh, but we're going fairly well. You can see that it's staying at the same angle. Uh, it's turning pretty good so far. It's going to be a wider turn. It's not going to be a real tight turn, which is okay with me. Uh, but again, as you keep turning, it's going to get the angles going to you know you're going to have to continue to look both your sides because the angles uh, going to get a little bit harder just to, you know just snap your or push your block into place. You're going to have to move it around a little bit more than usual uh, as you keep continue or as you continue to uh, get to different angles and again you can use the outside to make sure that you're at about the same height angle um, that's what I always do and uh, you can also get down like this I do this sometimes to make sure that it's you know even and then after that I, of course I check both sides just in case I messed up something or didn't look at something right uh, that's just me I, I always double check things uh, I just you know I like to make sure everything's everything's you know pretty pretty good in, in place and you know kind of per not really perfect but um, I just make sure everything's in place really good and it looks nice uh, I, I really don't I hate you know there's there's times when I make tracks where I just completely just redo a whole I'll make like two turns and I just don't like the way it looks <laughs> and, and I'll just completely erase it and just redo it uh, that's just me though a lot of people don't do that but there are there are times where I get so mad and I'll just r erase you know like two turns just because I don't like the way it, way it looks which sounds pretty stupid but to me I don't know I guess that's I don't know I guess it's just how I am in a way uh, I'm not sure um, so we're getting about, I mean, you can tell right here, here's an example. If you make the turn really tight, um, like this tight, uh, for example, it just looks like compared to the other part, I, I don't know. It just looks to me, it might just be me. I would assume it's not just me. There's other people that feel this way too. It just looks like, it doesn't look right. I mean, it just, it's too tight. It doesn't look right in the turn. Uh, for other people, other people have different opinions, of course. So, you know, I'm not saying that, this is the way you make a turn. You have to make it this way. But you know, it's just my opinion. This is how I've always done it. Um, it's just, it's just the way I see it. Um, so I, I, you know, I just don't like to make it really tight turns. Um, so it's turning pretty good. We'll go ahead and race that and see what that looks like. I need to move them on just on top of the hill because I don't feel like driving this whole way. Um, I guess I'm just that lazy. Uh, here we go. Pretty smooth coming up. Yeah, that's really smooth. You can see there's not even a bump. So you know if you take your time on these tracks and you check both sides, you make sure you you your angle's the same. You ch you know you check both sides. You use your left uh, analog stick to ensure that um, you get it in there perfect instead of you know going up and down like this. Uh, then you know you can make a really smooth map. Anybody on Reach can make a can make a really smooth map. Map. I will say in Halo 3, uh, there was. I'm not saying that people were more talented or less talented, but there were. Uh, your elite. You had an elite group of forgers that were. You know. Uh, I would. You know. I guess you could say that were more talented uh, before Ghost Merging came out, of course, uh, because you know in Halo 3 you had to. You had to freehand everything, and it wasn't like this where you can. You know, take an object and do it. You like if you draw, if you clicked A on any object, it's not like it was. It would stay up in the air. It would drop, so it would fall. So if you never played Halo 3 uh, and you didn't know what forging was like, basically you would take an object, you click A, it fell, fell. So you would have to take an object. You would have to um, put another 
object before ghost merging on top of the other object and then uh, then you'd put spot what I do is I put an object like that so when I put the next object when I held it up it would it would you know hit this one and it would be really smooth and lined up with the other one I'd put spawn points on each end and make the object disappear so I could line it up with it and then you'd have to hold it you'd save changes in the game so you'd save changes in the game then you'd start the game again and that's one block and if it's wrong you have to redo it so just imagine making a map just imagine making any type of map not even a race map just just any type of map to where you have to do that uh, but race maps, you know, if you're making a sky track, you have to do that every single block. So imagine Halo 3 making a map like that, you know, would, while doing that. It was just, it was extremely hectic, and I was surprised I even got any maps done doing that, because it was just, it was crazy. How many, you know, how many times you had to save changes and quit the game. Um, but I will tell you this much, I was like probably the fastest person in the world at click and start going down to end game, or save, save changes and then end game. I think I did that in like freaking two seconds. It was incredible. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely glad that they made this. Uh, they made it a lot, the forging a lot easier, and you know, gave you more features and stuff. Because uh, it definitely makes you know anybody on Reach really has the ability to make a map like this. You know, anybody has the ability to do this right here. Um, all it takes is some time and of course practice. You're not going to be able to just do it right off the bat. Uh, but you know, for the people, you know, I get a lot of people that are like, you know. Look, uh, I can forge, and you know I know what I'm doing, but I just don't know. I don't understand how you make maps so smooth and stuff. And I'm telling you, you know, people send me in maps, and they're like, you know, can you tell me how good this map is? And you know, if it's a decent map, look, just keep making maps, and I promise you'll get better at them. Uh, you should have seen how bad. Don't like just sit there and make a map, and then don't make another map for like two, two or three months. If you really want to get better, you need to constantly be making maps. Uh, because I wish I could show you some of my Halo, Halo first Halo uh, 3 maps. Uh, I'm telling you, they were pretty scary. Uh, they were so bad. Like, it, it was terrible how bad my maps were. Uh, like, I, I could, oh man, like, oh gosh, it was terrible. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I really wish I could show you some of the maps I made in Halo 3 because they were just so terrible and just poorly made. Um, it was pathetic. Uh, and it took me a while. I didn't really get good until Sandbox. Uh, on Halo 3, and that was, you know, I really even didn't get good until a while after that, um, uh, and I, I'm telling you, Reach was a big step up for me, because the last map I made in Sandbox, compared in Halo 3, compared to the one I made on Reach, uh, Reach was a lot better, uh, so I did get better, it was, it's easier, of course, to make maps on Reach, uh, so, I'm, you know, it helps a lot to have these features on Reach to, uh, you know, create better maps and create them easier. Uh, so that is a really cool feature they added and there will be Forge guys and Comet Evolved uh, what they're doing of course if you haven't heard they're uh, making the maps and you can just it's gonna be if you don't get if you don't get Comet Evolved uh, anniversary disc uh, the maps the same maps are available in Halo Reach it's downloadable content so all you all, all you have to do is uh, just go and download it it'll probably be 800 Microsoft points uh, so you can download all the Halo uh, Comet Evolved um, uh, maps uh, on your reach disc without even having combat evolved anniversary uh, so be sure to download those guys because I will for sure be making videos for that uh, those will those will most definitely be uh, I'll be making videos for combat evolved and uh, for the people wondering if there's going to be forge in Halo 4 there is going to be forge in Halo 4 uh, I watched the uh, the Halo 4 panel live on uh, IGN.com and uh, I watched that and uh, watched the whole, well, not the whole Halo 4 panel. I watched, I watched some of it. Um, and there will be Forge. Uh, I can tell you that much. There, I think they were saying there's going to be more, even more features on Halo 4 Forge than there is on Reach, which, of course, it comes out in a year, which is pretty sad. Uh, I just, I don't want to wait that long. Because, um, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I hate to wait that long. It's, it, you know. It's just, you saw the trailer, you want it to come out, you know, within like the next few months, but, you know, you got to wait forever. Uh, so we're doing, you know, you can see we're making progress. We're over halfway done with this turn. I don't know how long this video is right now, but it feels like it's forever long right now. So I hope I don't bore you. Uh, I feel like I'm just rambling about the, you know, most random stuff in the world. Um, maybe I'm not. I think I feel like I am. Uh, but it's just, it's, you know, kind of long to make turns like this. Um... Just wait to uh, wait till uh, the uh, the banked waves though. They, those are the those are the longest I think. Um, I don't. Well, this might be just because I have to set up. 
you know, I've got to make sure I've got the same exact angle. Um, see, banked ways, you don't have to make sure you have the same exact angle. As long as you're going down, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so uh, this is probably going to be one of the longer videos, in my opinion. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. Um, but the next video after this will be um, over a banked, a banked spiral. Uh, I will make a video over a banked spiral, and you all see that. And... Um, We'll set this one up, and I'll actually show you what I'm planning on doing next with this track. Uh, I haven't planned out everything, but I will show you what I am planning out next, and I'll make I'll be sure to show you that, and uh, you'll see that in the next four tutorial. You'll see me make uh, all the stuff that I've planned out, unless something screws up and it doesn't work. Then of course I will uh, have to change plans. Uh, but that doesn't that doesn't happen a lot. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't, you know, I feel like I've already explained everything on how to make this, but I just wanted to make sure, you know, everybody knows how to do this. Just, you know, continue to make sure you check both sides, because there will be times where uh, one will be a little higher than the other, and you don't notice that until you actually start racing it, and then it'll be a little bit bumpy. So we'll, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, you can see I was the same angle, um, but I'll go ahead and I'll finish this. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on finishing this turn, coming up a little bit, then coming down and like having like a little kind of jump drop off uh, coming down over here and then making a bank spiral this way and then f coming under the hill that's what I uh, my original plan is to do uh, whether that works or not we will see uh, whenever I make that but let's see how smooth this turn is uh, from the looks of it it looks like it's pretty smooth and you'll see if there's any bumps there's absolutely no bumps so it is definitely a smooth map uh, so far uh, we'll finish off this turn and then we will call that a, a um, an episode. Um, it does get kind of tiring to comment for freaking however long I'm commenting. The last video was like 15 minutes or so. So, trust me, 15 minutes can get tiring. Oh, and if you don't know, there is a uh, video already up on my channel of me doing a commentary over the first level of Combat Evolved. Uh, that just shows, you know, how excited I am for Combat Evolved Anniversary. Uh, and that was 20 something minutes. So, you know, I was like dying uh, doing a commentary for that long. It was, it was, oh man, it was bad. I don't even know how I lasted that long. The fact that I can talk for 22 minutes straight and still find, well, of course, I'm almost positive I repeated myself like 15 times. But still, the fact that I can talk that long was pretty impressive. I didn't even know I could do that. So, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself, <laughs> to, to be honest. Um, also, uh, I haven't, I, I know this is getting late in the video, but uh, the intro at the beginning. Um, to everybody that is wondering, if you want an intro like that, please go check out Redemption's channel. His channel is absolutely amazing. He makes the, he makes some crazy intros. I uh, will not lie, he makes an insane intros. He made the Halo Reach Force tutorial intro that you saw at the beginning of this and that you will see at the end. Uh, he yes, he made that and it is insane. He does charge. It's ten bucks for an intro, but really, if you think about it, that is cheaper than anybody I've seen on on YouTube. I've always looked up. Uh, I used to look up templates that maybe possibly I could use for uh, an intro for myself this is back before I was you know even popular at all uh, you know back when I had like 400 subscribers oh, I, I you know I remember you looking up uh, looking up templates for intros that I might be able to use and just you know enter my name in there and there was people that you would see that were just it was ridiculous they were offering they were you know uh, wanting like 20 bucks an intro and I even saw people that would want 40 bucks an intro and that's just you know that's just ridiculous uh, but yeah he's probably like for uh, being honest he is probably one of the cheapest uh, has one of the cheapest prices for intros so be sure to check him out he has got amazing stuff on his channel he's really talented uh, there's going to be an annotation to his channel, uh, so you know, be sure to check him out, subscribe to him. Uh, he just hit 5,000, 5, 5, <laughs> 500 subscribers uh, not too long ago. Um, he's at about, well, as I'm making this video, he's at about 520 something. Uh, so, you know, be sure to check him out. Uh, definitely give him a subscription because he does work hard for what he does. And another person to check out is Cerolio Designs. If you haven't seen recent, oh my gosh, I'm getting pissed off for the, for the phone ringing. If you haven't seen, it's going to ring forever, so I'm just going to let it stop ringing because I'm not even going to be able to put this next block in because it pisses me off so much. Um, oh, wow, it stopped. Um, that was quick. I hope nobody's at my house like answering the phone that I don't know about. Um, anyway, there uh, he's a YouTube channel that makes backgrounds. So if you haven't seen my channel recently, I have gotten a background change. My background and my avatar, he has made both. Uh, 
the last one and this new one. My new background is insane. It's amazing. Uh, he never, you know, fails to disappoint you. He's got incredible skills, and uh, every, you know, you can ask him to make a background. He does charge a little bit as well, um, but you know, for the for the backgrounds he makes, it's insane. Uh, he makes some crazy stuff. Please go check him out. He's got about 800 subscribers, and. Uh, uh, maybe soon he'll get a thousand. He really deserves a lot more uh, p viewers and subscribers than he really than he has right now. Uh, so I'm giving a shout out for him now. Go check him out. There's going to be an annotation in this video for him as well. Uh, you can go if you haven't looked at my channel recently. You can go to check out my channel, look at the background and the avatar he made for me. Uh, it's crazy. Um, he's a very talented guy, and he definitely deserves more uh, more viewership and subscribers. So. This is a shout out to him. Uh, be sure to go check him out. He definitely deserves more subscribers. And go subscribe to him, guys. Uh, this turn is getting so close to being done. I'm getting so tired and kind of sick of this right now. <laughs> um, but uh, we're almost done. I get so anxious sometimes. And if somebody calls my house again, I swear, I think I'm going to you know, cut the phone lines. Uh, what is that? Three times this video somebody's called. Uh, I, th I honestly think it's my mom freaking out. Uh, I'll have to call her back because she's going to kill me. Um, so we're almost done here. We'll race it after this and see what it's like. And then we'll put up like two more blocks and we'll call it a video. Um, so right now that's what it looks like. You know, that's your, you know, pretty much your your whole turn right there. That's, that's a banked turn for you. Uh, and as you can see, it is just really smooth, perfect smooth. There's no bumps at all. So if you follow this tutorial, if you just watch me make it, do the same thing yourself. I promise you will have a smooth, you will have a smooth track. Uh, I mean, of course, if you you know your first time, it's not going to be that smooth at first, just because you know you're going to have to have practice. You can't sit there and just go in there and forge, and you know just you know do everything perfect, and it's going to be smooth, and you know. Um, everything's gonna be fine you can't do that uh, I'm you know it takes practice it took me a lot of practice uh, I've been forging since Halo 3 and now I'm this good so if you continue to forge especially on the reach it's easier to catch on and reach than it was in Halo 3 so if you continue to forge I promise you you're gonna get better uh, it's gonna be a lot easier for you um, so I know I don't again I don't know if I'm the best at explaining things I tried to explain how to do this as best I could in the video uh, I really hope this helped a lot guys um, let me know in the comments uh, whether this helped or not. Uh, I hope it did. If it didn't, then you know, let me know what I can fix, what I didn't explain well enough, and I'll be sure to try to explain that to you in the comments. Um, yeah. Um, so the next episode will be will be over banked spiral, a uh, bank spiral, and uh, you know, if you like this video, guys, please uh, feel free to like and favorite the video and show it to your friends. Uh, Please, it really helps a lot. If there's any way you want to help me out at any, wow, I can't talk. If there's any way you want to help me out at all, uh, then you know that'd be just by liking and favorite my videos. Uh, it really does help. And if you like these type of videos and you enjoy the other videos I make on my channel, please go check out my channel. Uh, be sure to you know check out the other videos that I have on my channel and uh, subscribe if you really like it because uh, it does help out a lot. I'm gonna finish this up here soon. We'll race it one more time, and uh, you can see you'll see how smooth it is, and then we'll call it a time. You can see I'm gonna go ahead and start coming up for this tiny little hill that I'm gonna make, and then drop down for the next episode. I will show you a quick little jump that I'm making here, and uh, yeah, I'll put this. This is gonna be the last block I put in here, um, and then we will race it once, and that will be it. Uh, oh yeah, for the people that clearly, apparently, I had a comment about this. this is, I know this is at the very end of the video, so hopefully, he wa whoever needs to know this, watched until the end of the video. Um, for the people that don't know about this, apparent, I had somebody comment and didn't even he didn't even know how to move the block around. And you know that's that's okay. That's not a problem. Uh, if you don't know how to move the block around, it's simple. Take a block. Uh, you hold your you hold your right trigger. And you can take your right analog stick, and it does this, and you can move it to the right and left, and move it up and down. Um, and then you can take the left analog stick, and that zooms you in and out. And you can also move that to the left and right, and that spins it like that. And the left and right on the right analog stick spins it this way. Uh, so it's pretty simple. It's not too hard. Uh, it is, you know, if you never forged before, it is kind of complicated to catch on. Uh, but that is your, you can see it's a perfect uh, bank turn right there. We'll race it one more time. And again, guys, uh, please like and favorite the video. And comment, let me know if this helped at all. 
Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next episode and uh, check out my channel for more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Drop.